Hello, Cappies. I hope you're doing great wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Cappies, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. We're going to ask what's coming up for you in your life, what you'll be dealing with, facing, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. We're also going to see what's happening with your soulmate, especially how they are towards you at this time. What's going on with them and their life? Let's see. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Capricorn. For Capricorn's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Capricorn in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Capricorn in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Cappies. What's popping for you? Ooh. There's somebody that you don't want to reconcile with. You, with. So whether it's a soulmate or a family member or friend, you are very determined not to reconcile with that person. Yeah. Whoever it is, hurt you deeply, put you through a lot of emotional trauma, a lot of heartbreak, and you're not communicating with them at this time. You're deciding that you're not going to um, reach out to them, and you decided that you don't want to reconcile with them. No, you don't want to at this time. Yeah, you are very guarded emotionally. Yeah, this is you trying to move on with your life in the right direction. Oof. For a lot of you, it's your family member or members. Yeah. You feel very disconnected from your family members. You feel like you can't trust them based on their behavior towards you. So you were betrayed by a lot of family members. Uh, it was serious betrayal. And you feel like you don't belong in that family. Like, are you questioning why you even with them? Yeah, this is you. Uh, feeling like you are totally separated from the clan that raised you, the, the family members. Yeah, you feel like you don't belong in that family. Yeah, you feel very disconnected emotionally and spiritually. You don't want to reconnect with them. You don't want to, you have no interest in reconciling with the, with the family members. You feel they betrayed you. You feel they let you down on many levels emotionally. Let's see, universe, please show us. Wow, you're going through a lot. But look how strong you are. This shows me how resilient, strong you are, Cappies. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cappies in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey. <sighs> but you still feel connected with your soulmate, though. You still feel connected. Mm. You, you feel very connected with your soulmate. Yeah. I think you feel more connected with your soulmate than you feel with your family members. Oof. Wow. You told your soulmate what time it is. You cut them out of your life, though. Yeah. You cut them out of your life. Yeah, this is you concentrating on yourself right now, trying to be resilient, strong, independent, emotionally, financially, trying to find balance in your life. Your soulmate wants to so badly to communicate with you. Yeah, you're tired of fights and disagreements with your family members. This is you silent, not reaching out to your family members, not wanting to deal with them at all. Yeah, because every time you deal with them, they betray you more. You feel that you had enough, yeah, of drama and chaos. The soulmate that you're letting go of at this time wants to communicate with you. They're still holding on to you. It's hard for them to initiate communication, express emotions, apologize. This is you trying to figure out how to deal with these people, yeah. 
Yeah, you don't want to fight or argue anymore. You've been through a lot of betrayal in your life from people that you trusted. So you definitely have valid reasons to be so disappointed, guarded, and let them go. You have very valid reasons. Yeah, very valid. The person you're letting go of feels a lot of heartbreak and the soulmate feels um, regretful for losing you, deeply regrets making mistakes they've made that made them lose you. They deeply regret it. <sighs> Honestly, uh, from what I see here clearly is uh, your soulmate is better towards you than your own family members. Yeah, and you see that too. But you have at least one or two family members that are decent, but you have a bunch of them that have been toxic in your life, that have drained you, betrayed you, deceived you, and the list goes on. You see very clearly who they are. Universe, please show us. Hmm, I'm so sorry you're going through so much. This is tough. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Capis in their life. And how is Capricorn currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, look how strong you are. You are very strong, very resilient. Yeah. You feel like you can't de depend on any of these people you've been dealing with. Because each time you deal with them, they let you down. Oh my gosh. So there's somebody in your family that's going to try to gain your trust again. But you know you cannot trust them. You already know. You have experience. Hmm. Yeah, communication, unexpected communication showing up here. The person you're letting go of loves you a lot, a lot, a lot, but they're hiding it. And they are very disappointed in themselves that they allowed themselves to lose you. They really didn't meet you halfway. They didn't reciprocate, didn't express emotions, didn't communicate effectively, didn't make a solid commitment. They came and went as they pleased. They didn't consider your feelings at all, but now they do. Now that they lost you and they realize how good they had it, uh, it's a totally different story now. Yeah, wow, you have a bunch of relatives that have betrayed you deeply. You see this energy showing up here? Um, this is you seeing clearly that you cannot trust them again. Whoever these relatives are, you see this? This speaks volumes. Wow, heavy. Yeah, you feel so alone in this world. You feel so let down, unloved, unappreciated. You're balancing heavy duty karma with these toxic relatives. Yeah. So you are a very strong soul, Cappies. Recognize that. Give yourself credit. You agree to incarnate in this lifetime into a very toxic uh, family yeah very challenging relatives to say the least <sighs> strangers have been better to you than your own family members yeah you they teaching you forgiveness they teaching you acceptance patience yeah very difficult lessons to learn but we all have to learn them otherwise we cannot ascend spiritually we're going to keep coming back here Incarnation after incarnation. So thank them quietly for the difficult lessons they brought into your life and release them with forgiveness. Don't hold on to grudges, anger, resentment because that's going to serve you nothing good. Yeah, this is you needing to accept them for who they truly are and disconnect from them uh, with peace in your heart without holding on to resentment anger and grudges towards them accept them for who they truly are recognize that you cannot change people right yeah what you can change is your behavior towards them your reaction to their behavior right yeah you can either allow them to annoy you for the rest of your life or you can walk away from them with peace in your heart forgiving them and loving them from a distance right Exactly. Yeah, this is you seeing very clearly that you cannot let these people come back to you. 
your soulmate's energy, the soulmate that you're letting go of, loves you a lot and they regret deeply. So there's hope for them. Uh, unlike with your relatives, there's hope for the soulmate. Let's see more, more for Cappy's highest good. You are extremely guarded. Yeah, you are not reaching out. You're extremely guarded uh, with people. You're protecting your heart, which is understandable after what you've been through in life. Beautiful. This is some kind of emotional healing coming to you. You've been through a lot of betrayal. One, two, three, three swords, heartbreak. You've been through a lot of betrayal, deceit in your life from people you trusted. This is you taking your time to heal. This is you balancing your karma with those difficult, challenging individuals in your life. You're not trusting anyone right now. This is you protecting yourself, guarding yourself, worrying too much, though, overanalyzing too much. Listen to your intuition, Cappies. Yeah, you're manifesting somebody new in your life, some kind of new person, new soulmate. You are manifesting new person, someone you have connected uh, in previous lifetimes, many lifetimes. You see this? This is very symbolic. Symbolic. Your soul and their soul is be, are being held by the star part of the universe. One of my favorite cards showed up here. This is you manifesting healing in your life. Emotional healing, physical healing, spiritual healing. After all that you've endured. Oh my gosh, you've been through so much. You are a trooper. I like the new soulmate energy, the star. So we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about the soulmate you're letting go of. That showed up as king of cups. But also, a uh, new soulmate that's entering your life that showed up as a star. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask, what are they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason? But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate energy popping up in your life, the star energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So, Cappies, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys. Wow, look at this. Again, oh boy, you've been through a lot.